to the, to the CIIE. Thank you very much. We're very honoured. For those of you who have just tuned in, my name's Helen Bentley. I'm coming to you from the automobile section of the exhibition this year. And I'm speaking to Pony AI about their autonomous vehicles. When people talk about autonomous vehicles, the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, the car. And here we have yeah, one this is such a car. example. Tell me a little bit about this car, please. Okay, so um, actually this one is the latest version of our Pony AI self-developed self-driving technology. As you can see, this is a brand new Nexus RX450H. That is a hybrid car. Okay, and just looking at it from, from a layman's point of view, there's a couple of differences I can see straight away. So on the top of the car, we have what seems to be a, a, an extra bonnet or, or a hat. <laughs> Tell me about this. What, what is this thing? Okay, I just do a bit of introduction of the cap. Yes. That is not its hat. That is its eyes. Okay. You know, um, actually, we call it a sensor fusion system. It has different types of sensors. It has LiDAR and it, is, it has radars around and it also has cameras. We have seven cameras around it. So um, eye is an important part of making this car automatic and also it has one brain at the back of the car. But let's begin with the eye. You can see the screen at the back of it. That is the world in its eyes. So on the left hand side of it is what the world is like in the eyes of uh, LiDAR, of radar. And on the right hand side, it's camera. So with this kind of system, this car can see surrounding area of 200 meters. It can spot and perceive every small piece of uh, maybe obstacles, ahead of it, even a cat or as well as a dog. There is a screen just uh, in, in the front part of the car. It can tell you uh, what is around the car and other key data of the uh, of the car. Okay, so that's the first thing I noticed that was different. What you've explained to be the, the eye on top. What's this down here? <laughs> it, it looks, I mean, it looks a bit menacing. It looks like a black eye on the side, but what does it do? You have very sharp eyes. <laughs> okay, this is uh, our new setting in this kind of new system. Normally, we just have all the sensors around on top of it, but uh, now on this, from this new system, we have the LiDAR here to make sure it can avoid any blind spots. Because normally when we're driving, we know that on the right-hand side or on the left-hand side is somewhere that is not easily be spotted when there is, for example, a kid or a cat. So does this just get stuck on after it's made or is this part of the manufacturing process? Like it's got how... stuck on after it's made. Oh, okay, yeah. that's brilliant. So, so literally I could bring my own car, say, and uh, you know, sure, would that sure. be something in the future? Sure, as I said, yeah, that's definitely something in the, in the future. As I said, we don't just make the system for any specific type of car. We just want to make a virtual driver that can be adapted to different types of vehicles. I want to buy this car, I want to take it home with me. Is that possible today? Oh, that's still too early okay. because to be, to be frank, autonomous driving technology is still at very early stage. It's still during the R&D period. Maybe in a few years you can have it okay. in your own car, but we need to make sure the technology is safe enough, it's reliable enough okay. before it can go into your household. Can I have a look inside? Sure, of course I want to take inside. So, be careful. This is sort of, uh, this is not really very practical, is it? I'm going to get into the driving seat of our Thomas car because in the future, this will be empty, right? <laughs> the seat will be here. The seat will I'm still sure be there, but there'll no one here. Okay. Um, nowadays, what you can see with autonomous driving is it's free in your hands, but there's only one part of the value it can deliver. In the future, I think it's going to change the relation between you, the car, and the road. So your car will just not be a kind of transport tool. It can be part of your life. It can be part of your social. Mm. Well, to be honest, this sort of thing sounds great to me because I've never actually learned to drive. So if the future was going to be autonomous vehicles where I could just sit in the back and not even have to talk to the driver, I'd be happy with that sometimes. Look, that's enough from me. I'm here at the CIIE and we have just had an excellent opportunity to look around Pony AI store and see all of the amazing technology and probably the future of automation, of automobiles, right? Automatic, uh, automatic driving. Automatic driving. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. And stay tuned. We will have more live feeds from this event as it proceeds. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.